Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Walk Tutorials. I am Kohitsu Yeezy, and if you're looking at the screen, yes, it is actually Halloween on a Hallow with a Halloween night. So actually, this started from 12 p.m. So uh, if you're looking around, you're gonna see uh, Shadow Satan right over there. Uh, so one quick thing, probably I mentioned in a previous video. Uh, there is no longer a bonus for armamentalists, uh, mages, and warriors that is over that finished on the 29th. So now everyone's getting the same experience. Now you're also going to see something a little bit different in this party. Uh, you're going to see that uh, the character that was my armamentalist is now going to be a Kinja, a sage. Uh, so my armamentalist actually got up to level 65, which is the max level. So I am now starting back at a, with a level 50 character and leveling this character uh, in the Sage uh, class to level 65. So if you're looking at the equipment, the equipment is actually going to be pretty much the same. Uh, I might make some changes for this particular battle coming up because in this video I want to battle the uh, Shadow Satan and in the previous video I didn't like the results that I got from uh, the Mara Blade and also uh, the Baroque Edge so what I want to do is well, I'm not sure how it's going to work this time. Ooh, I'm not sure how it's going to work this time. Uh, mainly because I don't have an armamentalist to use force break. So, but let's see how this goes. So, I'm going to have uh, pretty much the same as before. Uh, this paladin is going to have uh, the world tree blade, uh, the armor as well. Then for souls, going to have Dark King. So Dark King is going to have plus 5 weapon damage, plus 7% EO, special skill damage. Serganus, plus 7% special skill damage for EO, plus 3% for weapon damage. Uh, Giga Dane, uh, not Giga Dane, uh, uh, Giga Demon. Uh, plus 7% uh, weapon skill damage with plus 4 Kaishin. Though, actually, now that I think about it, mm, pretty much a difference of plus 5%. Uh, but Kaishin, my uh, critical attack is plus 5%. So. And I'm going to get a huge boost with HP and also a little bit of boost with uh, durability. So you know what? I'm actually going to switch to body again in this case. Then I'm going to have the killer machine, which is going to give me plus 12% to weapon skill damage. Then for my ranger, it's going to be exactly the same as the previous video I did with... Uh, uh, the Shadow Satan. So it's going to be Black uh, Storm Robes, Black Claw, Black Storm, and then the same type of souls. So I have Best King, uh, Hell Condor, Body Gen, and Gigantus. I won't go into too much detail. You should already know from previous videos. Now for this, what I might do is... Uh, I'm actually going to switch, I want to focus on EO, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually switch to Lamia's gear, which should be here. So this is going to boost the, uh, hopefully boost the damage of Soul Flare uh, on uh, the Divine uh, Beast Staff. Then here, you're going to have Zoma, uh, Duo, um, Dancing Jewels, that all give me plus 12%, uh, sorry, plus 10% to uh, spell damage. 
Then I'm gonna have the Ohina Sama Slime, which gives me plus 3% to spell damage, and then plus 7% to EO spell damage. Then down here, <laughs> of course, I'm gonna have my standard healing paladin. Um, nothing has changed. Satori gear, Satori staff. Again, all souls give plus 10% HP skill effect uh, recovery effectiveness. And then most likely what's going to happen is when this paladin becomes level 65, I'm going to make him into probably a class that does attacks. And then this sage is actually going to become a healing sage. It's probably what I will do. So without further ado, I'm going to go into this battle. But actually first what I want to do is I want to heal up. And go into battle and should start soon. And here we go, starting with the battle. Uh, you're gonna see the attacks on the sides over here, and I'm probably just gonna auto battle it. And then I'll mention something uh, that I said in the previous video. Uh, he uses Zaki, which is an instant death spell. Uh, you know the next turn he's going to use it because there will be a message saying that his third eye flashes um, suspiciously. If you're able to actually shadow bind with the ranger, um, he will not be able to use it the next turn since he's shadow bound. And when he has his next turn, uh, the chance for him to use Azaki will actually be over. So that's the one way to get around that particular attack. Yeah, actually... Yeah, the e he's resistant to EO, but, um... All the EO attacks are actually doing very well against him. So the message just came, then uh, his third eye just flashed, and I didn't shadow bind, so he's going to use Zaki next turn, the instant kill move, and I'm not sure which character he's going to use it on. Hopefully not my healer. Oh, see, so my ranger, no problem. Okay, so just revive my ranger, auto battle, and should be good to go. Like I said, this is not a hard battle. Um, I'm not sure why I thought, um, I thought he was going to be a lot harder, honestly. But, um, I guess any, I guess any of them. Mega Monsters is actually uh, easier to deal with than dealing with Body Gen, for example. Yeah, Body Gen was a beast. Uh, I actually struggled quite a bit, if you remember a couple of the videos. Well, a couple of the early videos, at least. Okay, Mahado, Mahado. So probably this round he should be done. And actually, one thing that I have not done for the Shadow Satan is actually to see the details of the actual soul. So D, 
B. Oh, okay, not bad. Okay, and there, 50,000. And then I believe the Shadow Satan has around a uh, 100,000, so I pretty much did half its damage. Then you saw that I got like a, a kind of jack o' lantern. That I believe. Let's see, I can go to it real quick. Right here. So this uh, pumpkin lantern, or pretty much it's just a jack o' lantern, it's pretty much can only be used in battle. And what it does is that for all characters, it replenishes. Uh, 100 HP and MP. So, hmm, it's not bad. So, collect a bunch of those. And if you're not necessarily in a tight spot, but if you want to do kind of like a minor, like a do of the world tree kind of thing, then uh, that's the thing to do. But uh, what I really wanted to show you was souls. So, because I actually have not even looked, uh, at the soul of, um, the Shadow Satan. So, let's see. It's going to, in terms of its basic stats, it doesn't do anything spectacular. Um, since it's red, it's going to be geared toward more a martial artist. So, any character that's going to have red. But uh, if you're looking at the special skills, you're going to see that um, it gives, uh, its main is going to be giving bonuses to uh, physical technique special skills. Uh, well, physical technique uh, skill damage. So for B grade it's going to be plus 5 to that and then for A grade it's going to be plus 8 so my guess is probably for S grade it's going to be either 10 or possibly even 12% for that but uh, also for uh, the A grade it's not just uh, physical technique skill damage but also weapon as well so that's going to be it for this video and probably uh, I won't be making another video for the uh, Shadow Satan it's uh, there's not really much that I can do with the current equipment that I have on uh, I did very well with the EO uh, equipment on, so I really don't see the reason. The only reason I would make another video is if I actually get the uh, new weapon, the Nightmare Chain, uh, which is Boggy Base. But uh, I that probably won't going that probably won't happen. Uh, my ranger and the healing paladin are almost to level 65 so i'll be changing them to other characters soon haven't decided which ones just yet but uh it's gonna happen so uh thank you for watching this video uh if you enjoyed it please leave a like if you'd like to see more please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video